All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So here is the new iPhone 14 Pro Max. Apple's gonna be releasing um, four iPhone models this year. You know, rumor mill, the recording of this video is still not official yet, so you take this for what it's worth. Uh, but this is going to be, this is a mock-up of the 14 Pro Max. And I think uh, Apple has made some changes to this device because I have cases for this device as well. And they do not fit the iPhone 13 Pro Max. They don't fit it. And um, so that means Apple changed the dimensions a little bit. So here's a case for the 14 Pro Max. We're gonna snap it on, goes on great. Simply put, it's just there, it looks good. Right on there, fits perfectly fine. Now, if I try this same case on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, it's a different story. It's really snug, doesn't really go around too well. And as you can see there, so, that that means that they've probably more than likely changed the dimensions of the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which I think could possibly be a good thing. Uh, my case, my case for the uh, now again, this is a mock-up, but the cases should technically fit. So here's a 13 Pro Max case going on an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and you can see the difference in shape in the camera module here. You can see it's kind of shrunk down a little bit, so that leads me to believe that they've made the iPhone 14 Pro Max a hair smaller. I mean, just a tad bit smaller. And again, with this being mock-ups and everything, I can't say for sure, but I can guarantee you more than likely they're probably gonna make the dimensions on this one a little smaller. And Apple doesn't normally you know, talk too much about that. They just get into everything else. And as I hold them side by side like this, I can clearly see with my eyes that this 14 Pro Max is a little thinner and a little bit smaller uh, in size than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So this is something you wanna take note on. This is how companies get you to buy more cases and accessories and more products from them. This is how they do it. They'll change dimensions just enough to get you to spend more money. So if we look on this side here, there's uh, no antenna on this side, and it uh, looks like they haven't placed an antenna on that one. Like Again, this is a mock-up, so I think we'll, we'll have to see an antenna marking somewhere on here, uh, but they've got the SIM tray marking. So if they don't, in fact, have the same uh, uh, 5G antenna right there, then they've upgraded the radios. Uh, you still got the same marks here for antennas on the sides right there and then down there. It's a little shiny, but you get the gist of it. So I don't see the marking for the 5G antenna on here, but I'm sure the final marking, the final mock-up of the phone, the ones that are gonna come out shortly. Uh, at the recording of this video, we're only four days away from the announcement, so we'll see how this works out. Now, I think, um, again, this is supposed to be the new 14 Pro Max, and this is the 13 Pro Max. Now, the, the device, I think, is gonna sell very well. This is their new iPhone. This is the 14 Max. This is what it's called. Uh, so this is, again, this is a nice mock-up of it. As you can see on this one, you have a matte frame around it. So they've basically made the current iPhones bigger. And uh, you've got those same antennas and everything. It's gonna be a lightning port, obviously. Uh, but this is actually gonna, this, to me, this is probably gonna be Apple's best-selling iPhone because it's the same size screen as the uh, 13 Pro Max and the 14 Pro Max, the exact same size. You get a much smaller camera module as well. Now here is the 14 and here's the 14 Pro. These two also um, are gonna be different in size from the current versions more than likely, again, to get you to spend that money. Uh, but uh, I think personally, in my humble opinion, based on the way people uh, out there who buy phones, uh, Apple's got this thing where they, they know people are gonna buy the 13 or Pro Max or the 14 Pro Max. So they said this time we're gonna eliminate the mini. We're gonna go big across the board basically. And we're gonna give them a 14 Max. That's what it's uh, technically might be named. Again, this is still rumor mill. Just take it for what it's worth. But there is gonna be two large screen devices from Apple. And this is something that you guys already knew. And some of you guys might not have known it. But this is just to kind of get you there. I think I like this with these matte metals, uh, brushed aluminum sides is what it's more than likely gonna be. Uh, and uh, you know, I think that's just gonna be a really nice look for Apple to bring a more affordable large screen device because they're not winning when it comes to that portion of the game. Android has always dominated the large screen devices at the more affordable pricing. So this is more than likely the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max. And so I'm excited to see what comes of this with the newer design of the two devices. Again, this is a 13 Pro Max case, and this is a 14 Pro Max case. 
And so the newer design, you can see the differences. Even in these camera module bumps right here, you can kind of see that this one is a little bit uh, bigger on the hole and the camera module is almost shifted down a little bit. So again, looking at these, you can see that there's uh, just very slightly, the camera module is closer up this way on the 13 Pro Max and further this way on the 14 Pro Max. So we don't know for sure what Apple is gonna do at this point, but folks, here is the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the brand new iPhone 14 Max. I think a lot of people are gonna flock to this model this year. They get a big screen at a lower price than this device. Shabir J, that's all I got for you right now. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.